Hey guys, it's Aaron. So later on this week, there's a video coming out from 2018 Basecamp with Justin Geis. Uh, if you guys don't know Justin Geis, you got to look him up because he runs a YouTube channel called SketchUp Essentials, and it's that's what it is. I mean, if you use SketchUp, you should probably be watching Justin's videos. He has workflow videos where he goes through making certain things or modeling certain things, but in my opinion, one of his strongest things he shows is in-depth usage videos of extensions. So he'll go in like we, we, I do these little videos where in five, six minutes, I introduce you to an extension. A lot of the times I just scratch the surface, just enough to hopefully get you interested in looking at what it is. Justin goes through and does some exhaustive usage of the tools. So he'll show how to make videos or how to make uh, models that go far into the extension usage. So we'll link to his channel down below. He's definitely worth checking out. Come back on Friday, watch his uh, session because he talks about, I can't even remember how many extensions he looks at, but <laughs> he dives into all kinds of stuff. Definitely a great video. So with this uh, kind of teaser video, um, I didn't necessarily want to go pick something specific that he showed or anything like this. I kind of used this as an opportunity to show whatever extension I wanted. So I wanted to get something new, something I hadn't used before. So I went up and started looking through the warehouse and I came across something, uh, specifically this one right here, Curic Mirror. So those of you who know me or see my workflow know that I struggle a little bit when it comes to mirroring. Um, I've done a video before about flip along and scale to minus one, but it's never a comfortable or good looking portion of my workflow. So I know that I knew that there was, uh, there's extensions out there that do mirroring, but uh, I ended up grabbing Curic specifically because we've never actually spotlighted anything that Curic has made. I would recommend if you want a mirroring uh, extension, check this out, but also check out Curic's other stuff because he has 20 some extensions up on the warehouse right now and they do some pretty cool stuff. So we'll link to his page in the description as well. With that though, we'll hop in and take a look at this. So this is the Curic mirror page up on Extension Warehouse. And uh, you can see, you guys have already seen this run about a dozen times in the background, but it's a pretty easy way to mirror geometry. You click and the mirror geometry gets mirrored. Um, so we're gonna look at what this is, how it works. It is a free download. You can go grab it off Extension Warehouse right now and install it. I have done that. And when you install it, you get this user interface this single button. So those of you who know me and have seen my uh, modeling, you know that I like simple interfaces. I like this idea of one button does everything. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I have some geometry here. I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but you can see it's not a symmetrical shape. Um, so we're gonna use this to practice or take a look at using Curic Mirror. So I'm gonna grab all this geometry and I'm gonna click on the one button. Now what happens is when I do that, my cursor gets this little surface on it. And now any surface I mouse over, it's going to attempt to take this geometry and mirror it on that surface. Even if I got mark over here, it'll flip it along its axes along one of the surfaces on mark, which is pretty cool. So obviously if I wanna symmetrically copy this, I can move over one of those shapes and click. You'll notice when I clicked, the first half disappeared because that's exactly what I told it to do. I selected all this, I used Kirk Mirror, I clicked and told it to mirror here. If you look down the lower left corner, I have some modifier keys here. To copy something, I actually want to hit the option or on um, Windows it's control. So if I hold down option, see my cursor, gets that little plus key on it. I still have to hold it down, it toggles, and click it once. And then when I click here, it will make a copy rather than just copying, or just uh, flipping the geometry. So if I wanted to do that again, I wanna make a copy of that over on this side, I could click it again and hover over here. You notice that when I got on that line, it did something a little bit different. If you go over a line, it actually mirrors it onto that line and lets you slide where you want that copy. If I wanted to put a copy out here, I could actually slide it over or use this end plane. Pretty cool. The other thing you can do is you can click on a point 
and then drag out your mirror line. So if you have something at an odd angle you want to put in here, um, like you could just do something like that. So overall, it is a very simple, quick, easy to use extension. This is one of those extensions that may make its way into my standard workflow. You'll know if it shows up on the toolbar up at the top. It is, like I said, it's free, it's simple, and it's from an extension developer who has a lot of stuff to offer. So I do recommend checking out if you're looking for a way to mirror quick and easy. And if you want to check out an extension developer that's, he's, he's only been on the extension warehouse for a little bit, but he's got some great stuff worth, worth, well worth checking out. So especially if you're an architectural, he has a bunch of architectural tools that are really cool. So take a look at Keurig and Keurig Mirror on the extension warehouse. And don't forget to come back on Friday and see Justin Geis's video where he's going to talk about way more extensions. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, subscribe to get notified next time a video comes out, and most importantly, leave me a comment. If there's an extension you think we should highlight in the future, let me know what it is down in the comments. If there's something you liked or didn't like about what we did, let us know about that too. We like making these videos. We like making them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.